Hi, I'm Tim. Welcome to The Restoration Couple. We're going to take a look at a stove fan today. Now, we've had this for well over a year now, and I've been meaning to do a little bit of a video for those people who have asked uh, how we're getting on with it. So stay tuned for that. Okay, so the fan is pretty clever little thing. Um, there's loads of these on the market and I wouldn't want to compare to anything else because this is the only one we know of uh, or that we've actually used. So the one we use is a um, Valiant Ventum 3 and even I think this brand has several different models but this is um, kind of I'd say mid to high range so that you can get some really cheap ones on eBay um, likewise you can get some very expensive ones but it's a three blade one and for the for anyone who doesn't know how it works is the the, the base of the fan heats up um, I don't know the science of it too much but it, there's a motor here which is powered by the heat that's created from your stove so it sits directly on the top of the stove um, and as soon as it hits a certain temperature the motor starts and it does vary, you know, it will spin faster when it's hotter. But as soon as it gets, I think it's 45 degrees, so not even, you know, any more than radiator temperature, uh, it'll start spinning. And we'll have a look at how effective it is in a minute, but um, it basically just helps circulate the hot air. You can imagine, especially in a fireplace like this, the hot air kind of lingers in here and when it does come out it kind of shoots up and especially if you've got really tall ceilings uh, like in this room you tend to lose a lot of the heat by the time you it gets to the sofa you know it's been across the top of the ceiling and it's actually cooling so the idea is that it sends the hot air across the room so we're going to light the fire now and hopefully it won't take too long but we'll have a, a bit of a live view of how long this takes to kind of fire up and start spinning if it is too long, I'll speed it up twice or four times in the edit. All right, so this has been burning for about just over a minute. It's really taking off with this dry, dry wood. And I think I can see the fan is starting to turn. So that gives you an idea about how quick it kicks in. There we go, it's off. Right, I'm going to close this fire down a bit now because it's really going for it. So that's two minutes in. So I'd say the fan's going at a pretty average speed now. Um, and this top now is probably just slightly hotter than radiator. We're in about four minute mark now. Um, but when the fire gets hotter and this really gets up to temperature, then the fan will speed up in kind of relative to this. But if this gets too hot, which has, you know, if you have a really hot fire, which is obviously not the most efficient fire, but if it does get too hot, there is a little mechanism there to allow it to just stand off by a few mil so that the heat uh, doesn't damage the fan. So I have got the box, and this box has been kicking around ever since I've been meaning to do the video. Um, so yeah, I was, so it starts at 45 degrees, and the maximum temperature that it can work at is 320 degrees Celsius, this is. And you really wouldn't want to burn that hot anyway. Um, you know, 250 is probably about right. We haven't got a stove thermometer that goes on the flue, but if you do have one, you can kind of regulate and get to a perfect point. To give you a kind of visual idea of how this fan is working, we're going to try a bit of an experiment. It's non-scientific because it's pretty hard to kind of quantify how this is affecting the room, but It'll just show how the fan is moving the air across. Okay, time for our non-scientific experiment. Um, I'd say the fan is probably uh, at full speed now. It, it can get a bit faster, but this is about how it just ticks over for us. So I've just got a bit of tissue, just, just to give you a, a visual idea. So you can see there that it's definitely blowing the tissue. Um, when you get to a certain point, you don't really feel it like you would a normal fan, but it's, you can definitely kind of feel the effect of it. So we'll move away a little bit. 
You can see it's still blowing that. So about a meter, just over a meter away now. And it's kind of blowing, but not blowing it all the way up. So I'd say it's, it's just about hitting, and I mean I can feel it getting to about here. Hey, you don't know whether that's just the heat from the fan. Oh, you can or clearly it's feel fan. it. Okay, I'll go over here. Okay, to prove Joe wrong, she said it might be just the heat of the fire. No, I'm just making it more scientific. Okay, it, you're wrong. Okay, so we'll put the tissue here as our control. So the heat of the fire is not affecting the tissue, and as we move it across, it's flying like a flag. Anyway, so you, you don't real, really feel a big gust of air flying across the room, so it's quite a gentle movement. You can slightly hear the fan, um, it's, it is kind of a very light hum, so that's one thing to bear in mind. We did kind of notice that when we first had it, but now we don't even kind of think about it. So I'll give you a real close up now and you can just hopefully pick up on the microphone what that sounds like. Okay, so you might have picked up a little bit of the, the noise of the fire there as it heats up because it's only just been lit, but um, that gives you an idea of what it sounds like. There you go, there's a little look at how the stove fan works, especially for those of you who have asked what it is uh, in the back of some of our videos or for those of you who might not have even heard of one. Um, but we can definitely give our little stamp of approval to this one and um, I'll get Joe to pop a link below the video um, if you want to go follow through and uh, find one for yourself. So thanks for watching. Tomorrow's video is going to be another wood burning video and it's going to be a little bit of an insight into what we are burning on our fire. So thanks for watching. Remember if you can do it yourself and we'll see you next time.